Isaiah. Uh, I, I, again, I'll need to leave you out of this, Haywood. Uh, obviously, you know, I have the chance. I'll talk to you, uh, obviously, all season long. But, gentlemen, you, of course, played in the Big Five for four years. What does this mean to the both of you to now say that you're going to be able to represent your city? Uh, it's not really my city, but, you know, well, represent the whole city. No, it's going to be fun having uh, friends and family come out and support. That's the biggest thing. How about you, Isaiah? Yeah, same for him. It's good to have that kind of support system. Uh, I went to the St. Joseph game last night, and all the fans were telling me that they're going to come show as much support as they can throughout the game. So it's definitely good to have that they you know, support us even after we graduated and they still show that love. Between the two of you, you played for two of the best coaches maybe ever in college basketball, Phil Martelli and Fran Duffo. Fran Duffy, respectively, what type of an impact did they have on the both of you? Uh, just, you know, he made me a better man, first and foremost. Uh, I think that was what he shot to do, just make me a better person, and I think he achieved that. How about Phil? Uh, same. Uh, just helped me kind of reach that level of potential that I couldn't really tap into. Uh, you know, you hear all this, the read all, read all the articles and stories about when I was supposed to improve my senior year, and that kind of, I kind of handed out to him because you know, he told me all the time that he sees me a certain way, he held me towards a certain expectation, and you know, I, I reached that to kind of uh, accommodate him. So I definitely thank him for you know, allowing me to tap into that. Uh, I'm also a Temple guy. I was wondering if you caught the game last night and uh, if you can comment what you think about Coach McKee. Uh, yeah, I was at the game last night, and uh, you know, I think they're going to be a good team. Uh, Coach McKee has a lot of pro experience, so he's going to provide a uh, pro aspect to the uh, team. I think they're going to be uh, real good. I think McKee's a player's coach, so he's going to get a lot of recruits, and he's going to be good for them. Hey, uh, what, how, how happy is it to be coming home for your second straight year here uh, with the Blue Coats? Um, I'm excited. Um, you know, I'm ready to you know, get this going. You know, my goal is ultimately to get back to where I was at, but not only not on the same type of contract to a full-time contract. Uh, so, so I'm really excited for the season. You know, I know what I got to do in you know, my second year, so I'm ready. Right. Um, I say, what is training camp been like? And how competitive has it been down there? Uh, it's competitive, uh, just like how it was at the six. You know, dudes are ready to play, dudes are hungry, and dudes got, they want to prove a lot to the coaches, not only to for the Delaware coaches, but to the Sixers, you know, scouts and scouts and coaches. So it's competitive. You know, we fight every day. Uh, we play every day because we don't know, you know, nothing guaranteed. So we kind of plan for our minutes, plan for our spots, and plan for the opportunity. We all kind of want to reach the same goal as what Hayward says, getting that call up or being able to get to our overall dream and get to that big stage. So, I mean, we're all going to try to get there, uh, try to get there as much as we can. You know, not selfishly, you know, we don't have a selfish team, but, you know, we're hungry. You know, all of us want to try to achieve, like, achieve our dream. Hey, how was your uh, overall experience with the G League League team? Oh, that was a fun experience going overseas, representing the G League. Um, played a couple of you know, overseas teams, played some guys like Greg Monroe. Um, I forgot who else was on the team. But, you know, just some nice experience teams with us. That was a pretty fun experience for me. First time in the South America, so, you know, it was pretty fun. Hey, were you able to help with the Sixers last year? You were in the uh, application or the Jeff the experience yeah, I mean, being up there, you know, it's a different, you know, different level, but, you know, more aggressive, more physicality, bigger guys. But um, just being up there, you know, it helps me see what I got to do to, you know, make my way up there full time, like I said. But, um, you know, I definitely, you know, that definitely helped me being up there last year with them guys. You know, getting, getting knowledge from guys like Jimmy Butler, Tobias, Ben, Joel, you know, and then Shake every now and then, too, because Shake is there now. So it's like, you know, it's very helpful for me. Do you keep in touch with Shake? Yeah, me and Shake are very cool. You know, we um talk every now and then. I heard he got injured, you know, I made sure he was good. So, you know, he's good. So. How is, uh, how's Zaire looking these days uh, for the three of you? I mean, you know, he just, he just came up a few moments ago, and I mean, he admitted that he looks like he's in very good health and uh, he's moving very well. Uh, but while he's here on this rehab, what are you, what are you expecting out of him? Um, kind of don't expect anything too much of him. You know, he, he kind of is where we all achieve the beat. So, you know, him using that that knowledge that he may maybe learn from a few of his teammates from the Sixers or just his knowledge from playing because he played the NBA games. So kind of using that knowledge to help us, uh, you know, help us get better. Uh, I mean, he looks good. I mean, 
he just dumped on our seven footers a day. <laughs> so I mean, he look, he look, he looks pretty healthy to me. He looks pretty good to me. He a freak athlete. He can jump out the gym. Most athletic dude. I mean, I've seen. So I mean, I, th I think he looks good. I thought you were the most athletic I've ever seen. No, absolutely not. <laughs> not. Yeah, definitely more athletic than I. Hey, when you were the defensive leader of the Blue Coats last year, uh, between Norvell, yourself, Zaire, uh, talk a little bit about the defensive poten potential of this year's roster. Yeah, I mean, I think we can be the best defensive team in the G League, flat out like that. I mean, we got guys with guard, guys with block shots, guys everywhere. You know, you got Chris, Norvell, like you said, Norvell's probably the best shot blocker in the G League, like, seriously. And um, Z, he's a great home ball defender. And, you know, we also got. Uh, we also got other defenders, you know, it's not the great as well. Like, Shiz is a great defender, guys. Yeah, he's a good defender. Like, some of the guys only know about who defend as well. So, I mean, I'm so excited. I think we can be the best defense team, defense team in the team, to be honest with you. What's each of your three favorite cheesesteak spots? I forgot what mine was called. Mine is uh, Del Sandro. Yeah, 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 that's what mine was. That's my favorite one. I'm, I'm an extra favorite one. Two good spots. Two good spots. Uh, we spoke briefly downstairs uh -huh. and just walk us through being down here in the G League and being in the NBA, how that fuels your passion to succeed to get back to the NBA and how you use that as a leader amongst these guys here in the G League. Yeah, I mean, I feel like me coming from where I came from, you know, the journeys that I took last year was pretty amazing for me coming from Division two school. Nobody know about me, you know, being a two player of the year, guys, you know, not really looking at me as like a G League type player, me type player. And me getting here somehow, some way, really was, you know, very, you know, humbling. It was just a blessing for me. And, you know, then again, that two way it was very, very humbling and blessing as well. So, I mean, I just try to, you know, use that as, you know, feel being back down here, you know, grinding it all in the G League, you know, working to get back up there full time, like I said. You know, definitely I'm trying to take on the bigger role as a leader this year for his teams. I know the offense, the defense, and I know the coaches want out of this. Shiz, we've had this discussion. I think we talked about it about a week ago when I came here uh, to training camp. Uh, starting at Haverford, going to Temple, playing for Dove, and now here you are again playing for your uh, the, well, again, I know it's not the hometown, but it is your home team. What is the feeling going to be like for you on November 9th? Uh, it's going to be an amazing feeling. Like I said, just just happy to be around friends and family uh, to come and support me. That's everything to me, my, my family. So just uh, having them around for another year, you know, coming to see me play just means everything. So I'm be excited, man. Just, just ready to, uh, you know, put on for the thing like I always have. One more. Ready? How bad are you guys looking forward to starting the season? Um, I know you've been in training camp for a while. You've been playing, playing against each other. How is it going to feel to actually go up against some other competition for a change? Good. Real good. I mean, I'm going to talk to you. playing against these dudes every day. I ain't going. I love I'm, these I'm dudes. Tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, tired of guarding our plays. So, no, nah, it's definitely <laughs> exciting. I definitely want to see how we match up against other teams. You know, we've been working hard and being competitive with each other, but I'm excited to see how we match up with, you know, more competitive teams and other teams that we Thanks, guys.